Residents of a small Mississippi town respond to a scathing Justice Department report on policing. A. Associated Press Some residents of a small Mississippi town where the Justice Department found severe problems with E. Excessive and racially disproportionate policing said they were unaware of the ongoing issues, while others said harassment from officers was a part every day of life. In a report released Thursday on Lexington, about 60 miles, 97 kilometers, north of Jackson, the Justice Department said it found a stunning pattern of racially disparate poli. Ching in a department where officers can relentlessly vile. Below are your comments. We used to have a Bible Belt vacation home on a hillside overlooking a lake and the watering hole F.A. Vored by local authorities. Each night we'd sit on the deck and watch an army of drunken cops pros. Executors, city officials, and the justice of the peace stagger out at closing. These problems are all across this country. Citizens' rights are a problem to police and government officials. They do not like the fact that we can record them on the street and in meetings, legally have access. S to records, have Fourth, Fifth, Sixth Amendment rights that restrict police powers and more. It is a game that is played as to obfuscate and deny these rights. Until we do away with qualified immunity when these self-same officials are violating civil and lega. L rights, nothing will change. Good, O.L. Mississippi, where Brett Favre was caught in a scandal receiving welfare funds. Mississippi has the highest poverty rate in the U.S. and I'm willing to bet that throughout the state. Individuals in law enforcement, individuals working in the court systems, and politicians are steel. Ing the people of Mississippi blind. And because of the good, O.L. Boys Network, cronyism and nepotism, no one is ever prosecuted, e.g., Bridge. At Favre. Please wait a moment. I am pretty conservative and also was born and raised in the South. But this brings back some bad memories when police could literally drive a person out of town in SP. Eid traps were notorious. Weird stuff going on in that police department. You would think public servants would treat people fairly and respectfully. That certainly doesn't seem to be the case here. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.